Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be talking about this mysterious case of the people who apparently went missing. They were believed uh, to be following after some online cult leader. Anyway, I wanted to bring an update to that particular story, but um, there are some things that I wanted to uh, talk about in regards to stories like this, right? Um, anyway, first of all, I'm going to, going to share the screen with you so you can see uh, some of the details. Okay, so it says um, there are new developments in the search uh, for missing cult followers. Now, they call them cult followers. Um, the person who they claim to be following, who they claim to have been following, is someone who's in prison. And he says he don't even know these people, right? Anyway, let me just read the article. It says the Missouri police have dug their heels into a sudden vanishing of four adults and two children believed to be in association with an online cult member uh, who is currently behind bars. But their latest findings, however, suggest the group went off grid on purpose. Okay, I'm gonna get into a little bit later um, after I give you some of the details, I'm gonna tell you what I think in just a moment. But anyway, it says Berkeley Police Maj Steve Runge told NBC, uh, it is likely the group doesn't plan to be found uh, given the recent bits of evidence he's collected. Uh, they've shut off their phone, uh, shut off their social media, shut off everything. Uh, we've even sent them money via a cash app and they haven't collected it. Uh, they've just gone runge, said via, um, they've just gone runge, said via NBC. Uh, after the group vanished in August, uh, police discovered they were followers of uh, Rashad Jamal White, an online conspiracy theorist who calls himself a god. Uh, he supports polygyny or polygamy, uh, teaches myth mythology, and basically tries to convince black people that they are of another multiverse. Uh, their family remember their family members told uh, St. Louis local reporters. Uh, they often found the group members meditating and chanting outside their homes. Now, breaking away real quick. Uh, some reports say that they would be outside nude, okay, um, chanting outside of their homes, okay? Uh, so anyway, back uh, to the article, it says, so far, this is the biggest lead toward an explanation as to why the group up and left civilization. However, the report says this wasn't the first uh, Rashad Jamal white worshiper um, who did some something sideways like this. Um, earlier this month, Yasmin Hyder uh, was hit uh, with a 35-year prison sentence uh, for her role in the fatal shooting of 22-year-old Adam Simji um, of Apopka, Florida, uh, in the Talladega National Forest in Alabama. Uh, she and her accomplice, Crystal Pinkins, had been living off the grid in the forest, which they tried to rob Simji and her, his girlfriend. Uh, in a social media posting seen by NBC News, Hyder repeatedly mentioned Jamal. Uh, Pinkins, who received a life sentence uh, for the Simji killing, uh, was also a follower of Jamal, according to various published reports. Okay, so, I'm going to get into my explanation in just a moment. It's just a little bit more here to finish with the article. So I want to go ahead and knock that out. Um, it says the whole connecting to the cosmos, looking for portals to Africa in the Grand Canyon and hyper spiritual teachings will seemingly encourage a person to disconnect. However, their, gu their guru can't be of much guidance serving an 18 year, -old year sentence in prison on child molestation charges. Actually, he denied knowing these people at all. Uh, I am pretty sure I have never met these people. I get on my phone and I give a lecture. I go live and then I cut off the phone. I do not know the people that you are, uh, that are in my live stream. It's too many people, he said in a phone interview 
uh, with St. Louis Post-Dispatch from Georgia Prison. Uh, he also denied being a cult leader, but instead he was an educator on metaphysics, molecular biology, black history, and so on and so forth. With that being said, he then argued that the police uh, put a target on his back upon the group's disappearance. Uh, Bar uh, Berkeley Police Mods Runge could not be reached for comment on the next steps to the investigation. So, what I wanted to point out with um, a report such as this, uh, you have people online all of the time who gets fixated on someone or some group or so, some organization, some ministry, um, some um, just any type of group imaginable. They get fixated. Now, there's, there's a number of things I want to talk about here. One, uh, like the guy said, uh, he says he's no cult leader. He just has a YouTube channel, right? And uh, he says he don't even know the people. Now, I don't know what he teaches other than what they've said. Um, I don't know the specifics of what he teaches, only the topics, right? And I hate the fact that black history is thrown into the mix like it's some type of um, weird thing to be teaching about, right? And I also hate the fact that the whole idea of being off grid seems like it's being demonized. Now, if people get these weird and strange ideas of how to be and how to live and how to function because they're listening to something and uh, they're buying into certain ideologies and they are not correct, then you can't put it on the guy who, from his own um, admission, he says he's not a cult leader and he, uh, he just teaches and people follows <laughs> and he has no idea who they are. Some people do form their own ideas. But it is strange, however, that um, others who are connected to a certain type of lifestyle also followed this, this guy's teachings. That is strange, right? But you got to be very, very careful uh, who you are dealing with because sometimes people just go over the top. Um, I do feel like not with just black people, but people in general, a lot of people are trying to tap into some type of spirituality right and they're following after strange doctrines in which the bible warned of that it said in the last days that people are going to be giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils so we definitely see that happening right if, with some of the things that they say this guy was teaching teaching it sounds like it's out there you know to, uh, saying that black people are part of some um other metaverse or whatever all of this multiverse or whatever he was saying all of this stuff sounds strange. And so sometimes because people don't have a spiritual connection with the most high, they spiritually connect with people and their teachings and doctrines, which are just way out there. And so again, I wanted to speak about this because there are a lot of people who are going off grid. And this article, in my opinion, uh, makes it seem as though living off grid or going off grid is a bad thing. And that's that's the tripped out nature of when people go off into weirdness. Now, the family can rest a little bit, you know, knowing that they are still alive. But um, from reports so far, um, it seems like they intentionally went off grid, shutting down everything, disconnecting and all of that. And which people have a right to do that. There's nothing that says you have to be on grid. But I certainly hate the, the whole idea um, of demonizing those who go off grid because the same thing happened with preppers. Uh, they were trying to make it seem like if you store up any type of food, if you're preparing um, for the future, if you have more than six months uh, of supply of food stored up, then you're some crazed lunatic. That's, I mean, that's what some of the reports years gone by made it seem like you were out of your mind if you were putting up food, if you were storing things, storing water, right? So the same can be said for those uh, living off grid. They try to make it seem like you're strange if you don't want to be connected to all of this stuff. And to have a group like this um, who's following after some strange, weird teachings from some, some guy online who's in prison, this doesn't make anything look any better. It just makes it seem really, really odd. So I hope the family that has been looking for these people uh, can rest a little bit knowing that they've they've just dipped out of sight. You know, they said dropped out of civilization. Uh, there's no crime in that, but um, it still seems strange, especially with how things are being reported, 
right? So anyway, tell me what you think about this strangely odd story. Share your thoughts in the comment section as always. Keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.